So the Obi-Wan Kenobi series releases on May 25th, so is it too early to start making theory videos? No, of course not. So here is why Darth Vader is going to fight Darth Maul in the series. Now yes, I did make a video pretty recently saying Maul won't be in Kenobi, but what I meant by that is that he won't be seen with Kenobi or knowing that Obi-Wan is alive because obviously in Rebels, which takes place after that, he's not sure if Obi-Wan lived or not following Order 66. But he can still obviously interact with characters like Vader because this doesn't change anything in Rebels. So why do I think Maul is going to fight Vader? Well. Let's listen to Maul himself. Why are you working so hard to keep us here? I cannot defeat Vader alone. I cannot defeat Vader alone. How does he know exactly that he can't take Vader, that he is significantly weaker? Surely Maul being as arrogant as he is, he would back himself in any fight possible, right? Wrong. He's already fought Vader before and he got destroyed so badly that he knows he would lose if they were to fight again. So when was this first fight that they had? In a Legends comic? No, in the Kenobi series. Now most fans expect Obi-Wan to have a rematch with Vader in the Kenobi series by working their way around the dialogue in A New Hope, like trying to fit it in so it doesn't mess anything up. And this could be the same with Maul versus Vader, except they don't need to work around any dialogue. The dialogue perfectly sets up a fight to have already happened. It's almost too good to be true, but is it? Well. I'll get more into that at the end of this video. So how can this fight occur? I'm working on that part, but this is what I've got so far. The Empire are aware of Maul's survival by the time of Rebels because the Inquisitor in the episode Maul is introduced in is specifically searching for him. So maybe they know this because of how he escaped in season seven of the Clone Wars. You know, surely one of those clones told someone important that they just let Maul escape. <coughs> Seriously though, when you look at it like that, I don't imagine who they told would have been too pleased. So if this was the case, they would obviously know about it in the Kenobi series. So Vader goes out looking for Maul specifically, knowing that Maul also hates Obi-Wan just like him. So maybe Maul is trying to find out if Obi-Wan is alive just like Vader and he already knows something. Or alternatively, they cross paths in some other way and then that ends up being how they know about his survival in Rebels. Either way, both scenarios lead to the same outcome, them fighting because anytime two dark side users meet and they don't fight, it doesn't go too well. Let's list some examples. Palpatine killed Plagueis, Dooku betrayed Ventress, Savage betrayed Ventress, doesn't really go too well for Ventress, Dooku and Maul betrayed each other in the Son of Dathomir, Vader killed Palpatine, kind of, you get the picture. It's not great. So if they meet, they're going to fight. Simple as that. This isn't even incorporating the personal motivations that they would have to kill one another. You know, Vader is Anakin. That statement will annoy some people. So remember what Maul did to Qui-Gon? Yeah, I don't imagine Vader is too fond of him. Now, before I tell you what one of the people that has worked on the Kenobi series said about how Darth Vader acts and his personality in the series that further solidifies this theory, a quick word from the Clone Wars narrator. If you want Darth Vader to fight Maul in the Kenobi series, then smash the like button so more Star Wars fans can see this theory. Thank you and all watch this. Separatists have taken control of Ryloth. Yeah, sorry to cut you off there. Uh, Vader has been described in the Kenobi series to be a angrier version of him in Rogue One. And we've all seen Rogue One. He was pretty angry, so it's not hard to imagine that he would want to fight Maul if he saw him. This isn't even taking into account that Maul would also want to fight Vader. You know, he really wanted to kill Anakin in Season 7 of the Clone Wars because he was Palpatine's apprentice, he was behind everything because Maul foreseen him turning into Vader. And now that he is Vader, Maul is still going to want to kill him because he still wants revenge, and this would still be revenge. So they both have personal reasons why they would want to fight one another, as well as just the fact they're both dark side users. I also think this fight is pretty important for many reasons. You know, Vader's one of the most powerful characters in Star Wars ever, but most of the proof for that is kind of told rather than shown. Like, let's take a large step back just from the movies. Oh, he beat old Ben? Well, he was an old man that gave up at the end of the fight. Oh, he beat Luke? Well, Luke had only just had three weeks of training, and from the movie, it looked like even less. Oh, he also beat... Oh no, he lost to Luke the second time, and then died. So yeah, he doesn't come across too powerful in the movies. Revenge of the Sith is a completely different story, but, you know, it's not quite the same. I think Vader, actual Vader, in the suit, has his best showing of skill and power in Star Wars Rebels against Ahsoka, and let's be real, the majority of people have not watched Rebels, despite how incredible it is. So if you haven't seen Rebels, you should start after you finish this video. So if we see Vader 
absolutely wreck someone like Darth Maul, who is also regarded as pretty powerful, it would be a big statement for his power level, and I think it's needed. And although we know Obi-Wan is going to survive a potential rematch between Vader and Obi-Wan, it would still kind of scare us going into it. Now yes, like I said, Vader would destroy Maul in this fight, like really, really be far superior to him, but I don't think this fight is going to be a short one. I think there's going to be a lot of dialogue, probably mostly from Maul, but Vader won't be shy, he speaks a lot as well, and that is partially why I think it will be one of the best, if not the best fight in Star Wars, and that doesn't mean that the actual fighting will be short either, I think they're going to make the absolute most out of a Maul versus Vader fight, despite the clear power difference between the two, so it would just be so, so good. And Dave Filoni has actually spoke on a Vader versus Maul fight before, because initially in Rebels, Maul's death was supposed to come from Vader, so this just shows that fight is in the minds of the people working on Kenobi and working on Star Wars, so it probably has resurfaced in their heads whilst writing this series. Now whether they've chosen to include it or not is a different story, but Dave Filoni knows how cool this is because he literally described it as a fan fiction, and Vader vs Maul, two characters that popular, really does seem surreal and like a Star Wars theory fan fiction, but that doesn't mean it can't happen. I think there's a high chance Dave has acknowledged how possible it is, how cool it would be, how much fans would want it, and decided to adapt his initial idea to fit it in the Kenobi series. Because we know how well Dave Filoni understands Star Wars, he has shown it many many times. So yeah, Kenobi is already shaping up to be possibly my favourite Star Wars project of all time, especially if this was to occur in the series, but it's going to have some competition at the top of my list, and if you want to know what that list is then click this video right here but yeah with that being said thank you for watching let me know your thoughts on my theory in the comments down below leave a like if you did enjoy watch it down there and yeah goodbye